everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Casual Gaming, a new episode of Casual Gaming. This is the Chilean Retro Gamer, and today I am playing the Scrubs Hidden Object Game, classic Hidden Object Game on the PC. This is from 2007, and you know, unlike most of the Hidden Object Games of the time, this was a little bit more original. You know. In terms of even graphics, we can even say some sort of storyline, more interactive, even with dialogues, which wasn't really common back in 2007. It wasn't really long ago, but you know, when this uh, Hidden Object Games first started, uh, they used to be very monotonous and repetitive, and well, this isn't any different in that sense at least, but you can see that, I don't know, it's more colorful, more interactive, more entertaining even to, to see this family interact, even if the plot could be a little bit lame on your end. I don't know man, but let's take it a look and well depending on how fast we are making progress and other factors such as how entertained I am and you are, we can eventually finish this game. But if not, I'm just can record a few videos portraying and showing the main features and the main areas and then just wrap it up, but it all depends on It's a fun how good this goes. morning at the Scruff's residence. The atmosphere in the house is, as usual, rather chaotic. William, get your hands out of the commode this minute. <laughs> Lizzie, be careful with Harry. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. Lovely morning, isn't it? But... but I've got bills to pay. Edward, what's wrong? You look like the cat's got your tail. Um, you mean tongue, Margaret. Anyway, I've got some news. Friends, Romans, countrymen... Lend me your ears. I've been sacked. <gasps> no, no, we'll be okay, but we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do what, Dad? Sell our buddies. Well, William, we're gonna have to sell the house. What? Oh! No way! Good gracious! Not so fast, Edward, my son. I believe the time has come to tell you all a very big secret. Oh, Gramps, I just love secrets. They're so exciting. Please tell us. Yes, yes, okay. Elizabeth, my dear girl. I would, uh, if only I could remember. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. Uh, look, everything will become clear in time. But first, we need to find all the items listed in this notebook. These items will then lead us to valuable artefacts hidden around the house. We'd better hurry if we're going to save the house in time. Well, what are you waiting for? We're going to need all the help we can get. Come along. We are going to make this time to get a little bit of a challenge. So yeah, apparently the main breadwinner, Hello, if dear. you will. Hold on. Why don't you start your search by clicking on one of these locations? You can always come back here anytime you please. So yeah, I'm gonna get interrupted by these uh, advices and dialogues very often. As I was saying, the main breadwinner of the family got sacked and apparently they are bankrupt. But apparently the grandfather knows a secret about the house that can keep them safe in terms of the economy of the house. So that's why I have to find valuable artifacts for the grandpa to remember what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I mean, in terms of plot, we cannot expect much more. But hey, there is a motivation for us to look out in the different locations. And well, since we're looking in a house, we cannot really uh, expect so many locations. So I really hope there aren't so many chapters, more, no more than 20. That would be like a good limit. Let's go to the boys' room and we have half an hour to complete this a specific chapter at least. So we got a mouse, star, a cactus, a battery, a ruler, a witch, a wallet, and two bottles. So let's begin. I found the cactus down here. <coughs> yeah, there is a little dog bone here. What is this for? 
I should be told. You know, they are interrupting my commentary with advice. They're gonna tell me eventually what this is for. Uh, I guess. I mean, I played a little bit of this on, on one live stream a couple of months ago or so. So, yeah, it used to be very. you know, interrupted very often. Found a witch. A computer mouse is the one I had to find. Well, I guess these bones are the hints. So, uh, like pretty much most of these classic, if not considered all hidden object games, you cannot get a recharged hint every minute or every 30 seconds, but instead you have to um, administrate somehow your hints throughout this uh, each chapter, of course. You can get more bones in every location, but the idea is not to use uh, hints all the time, right? So we need a battery, a wallet, and two bottles, not just one. I found the battery. For some reason, the, the time I played this game, I actually had some more trouble than in, all, in, in other hidden object games. So it's a little bit trickier. That's the impression I got when first played it, at least. So I still, I mean, just need to find two bottles. Doesn't come like a bottle, it looked like a balloon upside down. I don't know, it's probably just me, uh, you know, getting things confused. I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, you know. I don't think this comes like a bottle, of course. It contains some liquid, but not because of that, it could be just considered a bottle. Uh, how about using a hint right now, just for the sake of knowing how to use these things? I'm trying to find this on my own, though. Not that I'm considering myself self too self-confident, because if, if you have seen me play this scene of the games, I usually suck cock. Erect a cock, yeah, to be more specific. Because I don't even know what some of the objects are because of my lack of vocabulary and lack of expertise in the English language. You know what? Let's use one of the boners. Hey, need some help? Yes. Say hello to my little friend. Click on Scruffy whenever you need help, but... You're gonna have to make him an offer he can't refuse. Yeah, boners. After you've treated Scruffy to a doggy biscuit, it's showtime! The item Scruffy is helping you find will pulse red on the list. Move your mouse around as you look for the item. The closer you are to the item, the more excited Scruffy gets. Barking, jumping, la di da, la di da. Wanna see a replay? Mm, I don't think so. I think I'm have this clear. Then may the force be with you. Yeah. Okay. Movie references are always supposed to be funny. The thing is, I don't watch movies. I don't find them funny. Ha ha ha. So yeah, there we go. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, I found one of the bottles myself. I still have to find the other one. So wait a minute, the dog is sleeping, so it means I use the uh, bone for nothing? Or just for hitting the advice and now I can use it? It's near here. It's around here it seems. Right here? Oh shit, super excited. Move your mouse cursor around as you search for adjuples in red on the list. As you get close. Shut the fuck up, dog! Jesus! Ah, right there. Alright, it's one of the old, old school hints that, you know, you it's a sort of radar. Nice work! You have found all the items in this location, yeah, with some health, of course. Go back to the map and find the remaining eight items. Yeah, I think we are going to do that right away. I was about to wrap this up right here, but you know what? Let's do it. So what is this? SF Street Fighter? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there it is. Gonna find a nest. Up there, I saw it, of course, on the roof. Kinda obvious.com! Gonna find a boomerang, a watermelon, two golf balls, family photo. I saw it. Cool! You found one of our family photos! 
It's so much fun scribbling on them. Come on, let's play a game. I feel like playing your game, but uh, you know what? Let, let, let's uh, right. do this right away. Here's the rules. I'm going to scribble on this photo, and you guess what the new scribble is. Then click on it. Don't click on an old scribble, or it's game over. Ready? Yeah, my anus is ready. Always ready. Oi, here's the first one. Go on, click on it. Thanks, girl. So yeah, these are little mini games to deal with on the game by finding certain objects, which is fine. But I'm afraid there won't be so many of these mini games. If if there are a handful of them, that will be more fun. Hey, not fair. Two can play this game. Here's the second scribble. I see it. The arrow tells me where it is. Hang on. It's not much of a game if you're blurting out all the answers. Well, you blurted first. Yes, Sherlock, but this is supposed to be your game. OK, I'm not helping anymore, but here's the deal. Get at least 15 out of 20 scribbles right and I'll give you a gold star. Try as many times as you want, but only your best scores count. Back to the game. You've got two so far and 18 more to go. Ready? You mean 13 more to go since I have to find just 15. Dash, the eye, uh, the crown, the sexy mouth, <laughs> uh, let's see, the flower, pretty sexy as well, the other eye, and then, and then, oh shit, I don't see it, ah, this, and now, the ball tie, and this, Pipe, and the hat, and the other eye, the mouth. Okay, I can lose if I want, but let me try to get points. Lots of points. They're important in video games. Sexy beer right there. Little gold. Um, the sunglasses and the wig. Gold, 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 gold. Nice one. Nothing else? Not even a kiss? Faggot. Click on the mini photos to play, click on back to exit. And you can also play this mini game from the main menu at any time. Yeah, by unlocking it once, you can replay as many times as you want. You don't even have to finish the game for you to replay these mini games. Hey, before you go, wanna know a little secret? William! Yeah, William! We can't, not until they've collected 20 gold stars, one for every photo. But it's my game, I set the rules. Yes, but I've got the brains. <laughs> you mean brain? See, you're a girl after all. Anyway, let me find the rest here. I've been taking quite a while because of the mini games, but that's fine. Some tutorial stuff going on, of course, not bad from time to time, don't you think? So yeah, gotta find a boomerang, gotta find a watermelon, two golf balls, no man, and tricycle. I found a tricycle. Wait, you are a tricycle. I was clicking on you. I was speaking like this girl too. Or like the boy, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Does anybody know what type of accent he got? Like British one or probably from some other place that I don't know, I'm not sure about. If you know, of course, you can comment and tell me what kind of accent we were actually dealing with funny voices. The other golf ball is gone. Snowman as well. I was about to say snowball. I'm obsessed with balls for some reason. So there you go. Watermelon and boomerang. Just that and we'll, we'll be done for now. I suppose. Watermelon shouldn't be hard but every time I say that it takes probably longer than the other objects, which are, in theory, harder to find. Probably the world watermelon, I don't think so. Let me see here at the top. Also, I gotta find a boomerang, I completely ignore that. Because I've been paying attention to the watermelon. So apparently in every location I can find one of these bones for the for the dog, but I don't see any either. Oh yeah, there it is. 
at least I can use one hint every level if I able to find one one of these every time. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, man. What else we have here? Is that a rolling pin? I don't think. No, I don't think it's a boomerang. Oh yeah, if you click too many times, since this is timed, you are going to get some time removed from your timer for clicking randomly up in theory so many times. I don't know, but I don't see the other freaking objects. You are not a watermelon for sure. Ah, oh, there it is. Got confused because of the color, you know, man. You know, I'm going for the hint right now. Getting kind of excited. It's near this place. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Are you a boomerang? You look like a shovel to me. Ah, oh, there it is! I guess there's a limited amount of time for you to find the object by using the hints. You cannot just look forever. Excellent! You have found all of the grandpa's items. Some items have clues attached. Now piece them together to identify the hidden artifacts. Okay. Yeah, this takes a while before finishing the chapter. I don't know, it would be ideal to do one chapter every episode regardless how much it could take. At least half of a chapter every episode, you know, for not making it longer than or, or bigger than two videos per chapter. Oh, there it is. Yeah, even the music here is kind of catchy. Kind of nice. There it is. The Mona Lisa. Down here. Pretty big pieces. See, this should be finished quite soon, hopefully. The blackboard. Should be go. Yeah, it should there. And I completed it. If my foggy memory serves me well, I believe the cryptum is located somewhere around here. And I was planning to finish this video 10 minutes ago, but yeah, let's finish the, the chapter. And I know where the cryptum is, I already saw it, that was quick as fuck, up here. It's the only object I have to find, but with no hints in here, can be used. Because it's a single object, of course. Ah, my beloved Cryptum. It holds within its womb a secret so shocking that when revealed will change our lives forever. Grandpa, it's so hard to open. Here, Scruffy, you try. Scruffy, bring it back here this minute. George, why don't you tell us how to open your clever little device? Then we can find out this secret you've been keeping from us all these years. Oh, how could you? I thought nothing was hidden between us. Victoria, my darling, I had to keep this a secret. You'll see why as soon as the cryptum is open, I promise you. Oh, Gramps, you're such a romantic. Come on, team. Let's work together to save this poor man's marriage. My mom always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Edward put a sock in it. Uh, Elizabeth's right. Uh, um, except for the marriage part. <laughs> Let's work together as a family to crack the cryptum's code. So, I assume you use the skipjack algorithm to encrypt the code? Uh, actually, it was a little easier than that. See, each artifact has a number attached to it. That's 15 artifacts with 15 numbers. Find the artifacts in order, and voila! You have the code-cracking sequence! 
Here's the first one attached to the cryptum. So I assume there are 15 chapters. If that's the case, that's good enough. The Scrub's resonance, don't at last and what a fine masterpiece it is, the cryptum. Don't be fooled by its simplicity. This little device not only holds the key to your future, but also connects a vital link to our past. Be warned, I have taken great care and made sorry, obtained sacrifices to keep the cryptum's contents and all memories associated with him. What awaits you when the cryptum is open will both shock and elate. One thing is for certain, your lives will never be the same again. And I think it is time for me to finish this. I showed a complete chapter, now we are beginning chapter 2. Crickery, Crocs and Kangrengas. Whatever that means. Thanks all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project as well of course as the next parts coming up.